I'm Hanne Lundschen and I'm here to present our brand new homepage and task list in It's Learning. I have logged in as a teacher Jenny and as you can see the new homepage has a new look and a new background color making it easier to differentiate it from other pages in It's Learning. The new homepage presents your start courses as colored cards. I can see my name and I can see my photo on each card. I can also see that I have a follow-up tasks in biology and in ancient history, but I don't have any follow-up tasks in mathematics and in science. Each card gives me an easy access to my course. I can just click the card and it will take me to the course I want. If I click the card here to the left, biology, it will take me to the course overview page for biology. Teachers will also see two icons on each card, a star and a pencil icon. All my courses here are starred courses. If I have many courses, I can use this star to simplify my homepage. Unstarred courses will be available at the bottom of the page. I can just click the star again to make it a starred course. Unstart courses will not appear in the calendar or in the courses drop-down list and it will not be a part of the stream under recent updates. Only teachers and admins will see this pencil icon. When clicking the pencil, we open a model and teachers will be able to edit their course card. All changes made here will affect all members of the course. We have students complaining about long and difficult course names, and we also know that many teachers will have courses with almost similar names. Now they have the option to give their course a friendly name. The official name of the course will always be listed at the top. I can also select another course color if I don't want to have this pink color on my course. I know that not all schools want to allow the teachers to give their course a friendly name or change the course color of the course, so teachers will need permission to change this. Site admin will decide if you can use a friendly name. We have this setting, enable friendly course name. Admin also needs to give teachers profile permission to edit course names. If they don't have a permission, they will be seeing a read-only state in this model. And soon, teachers will be able to select which teacher to present on the course card. All teachers that are a member of the course will be listed in this model. If I switch to student view, you can see that I have logged in as the student Eve. I have seven different courses and it's easy for me to scan for information. In the course biology, I have one task to do this week and a new announcement. In mathematics and English, I have another task. And in computer science, I have one more announcement. I can also see a photo of all my teachers uh, on the cards, like Daniel Jackson in computer science, Jenny Oster in mathematics, and Michael Green in English. It's also easy for me to sort my cards. I can choose between alphabetical, last updated and last visited and soon it will be possible to drag and drop courses as well. At the top of our homepage we have two tabs, courses and updates. If you prefer our previous homepage which gives you a more detailed overview, you can just click updates. There you will find recent updates from all your courses and students will also see our brand new task list. The task list focuses on what's currently important for students and hide far future tasks. It gives a clear, concise summary of what activities are expected of the student in all their courses. The two sections, due today and due tomorrow, will be expanded by default. Tasks that have expired will be automatically removed to keep this list clean. This will prevent an accumulation of old and outdated tasks in the list and students and teachers do not have to go in and manually remove them. Students will also find the new task list on course overview page. 
Eve can see her tasks there on uh, biology. And you can see that she has a task that I do tomorrow. It's homework. She has to read chapter 16. We can also see that she has a task that I do later. And I have to click here to open it. And I can see that the deadline here is July 4th. If teachers are using uh, tasks with no deadlines, they will appear here at the bottom of this task list. We will be rolling out the new homepage and the new task list over the summer. And please note that if you have defined another start URL for your site, for instance, school dashboard or calendar, users will only see the new homepage when they click home. It will not be their start page.